What's going on everyone? Kelly Cavallaro here, one half of Seven Arrow Media, and welcome to today's edition of the Honky Tonk Highway, episode number 43. Um, today's episode is going to be a little different. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. A um, few announcements. Uh, we are live currently on both Facebook and YouTube, so uh, you can watch on either one, depending on what you'd like to watch on. Um, if you haven't yet, please like, follow, share, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, straight across the board. That way you don't miss anything that we ever post. Um, just a few quick announcements. Uh, tomorrow's show, you definitely don't want to miss it. I will be live with all three of the guys from Streamline, Jose, Daniel, and JP. And the schedule release for Friday's 24-hour extreme event will be happening live on tomorrow's edition of The Highway. So definitely make sure to tune in for that. Um, also, um, to, on Thursday, if, in case you missed part one last week, um, we had Roth Fowler on last Thursday. Um, this Thursday is part two. Um, if y'all paid attention, we went about an hour and 25 minutes for the first one. Um, Rob had lots to talk about. So uh, part two will definitely be uh, on Thursday. Definitely tune in for that. You'll definitely want to talk um, and listen to Rob talk a little bit more. Um, if you haven't yet, we're just about a month away. Um, Seven Era Media is hosting the first uh, online event called Seven and Seven. We're doing seven workshops in seven hours, and all seven of the choreography slots are going to current competitors in the US LBCC. Um, all seven have qualified for the finals that will now be held at the Florida Classic in December um, with a shot on the line to uh, teach at World Dance Masters in England. Um, we have myself, Chris Jocks, Wendy Smith, Tracy Jackson, Jason Turner, Taylor Hickey, and then me and Chris will be doing a duo teach because we've qualified as a pair. Um, so definitely tune in for that. Um, also, real quick. show ever wonder um what would the perfect saturday night show would be like like if you could take everything everything uh oh let everyone catch up we might have lost sound for a minute let me know if you guys can hear me back looks like uh y'all have sound again shut up we uh, can't read lips. Uh oh. Shout up. Shout up. They're back. Okay, good. Sound is back. Awesome. So, um, just a real quick uh, today's show. Ever thought what the perfect Saturday night show would be like? And I'm not talking about like the marathon or stuff like that, um, where the whole show is themed, or Chicago, where we have an entire theme night, or. Vegas where everything is themed. I'm talking about those shows that you let everybody showcase what uh, what they're best at. Well, I figured it would be cool to come up with a top 10 of all time of what my favorite ones are. So, um, the way this is going to go, I'm going to play some clips of the videos. Um, so, and then, um, but I'm not going to have the audio. My buddy Big Jim, uh, <laughs> is going to share the links to the actual videos on YouTube so you can watch them back with sound. Um, I don't want to get us muted or kicked off. <laughs> so, what's going on, Jesse? Jesse Chan just joined us in. Uh, looks like the sound is back working, guys. Sorry for that little, look like 10 second clip when we uh, change screens. Um, so, uh, but I am going to show the video, some video portions of the uh, routines that I chose for my top 10. They're actually 11. Um, and there's no particular order. I did it in a nice show order of how the flow would go if I wanted to put together my own show. Um, you don't want to put all the high energy routines together, the low energy routines together. You kind of want to mix up from start to finish. You want to have a good, solid, straight shot. Um, so let's get on to it. Um, first thing, let me go do some honorable mentions. These uh, routines I love and I had a hard time with this. Um, and these are ones that almost made it in um, and I about made it. Um, 
Fred Whitehouse doing Unsteady at Tampa Bay Lightning's Classic back in 2014. Um, if anybody has yet to see Fred um, dance that, you are totally missing out. Uh, let me see here. Let me see if I can get that back on. Oh. Ignore the video that's playing behind. That's going to be in the top 10, guys. Uh, where'd it go? Oop, for some reason it does not want to play up, so I'll play it in a minute. Um, Jordan and Tatiana uh, from 2011 U.S. Open. They're more routine. And um, Ronnie and Brandy back in 2008 did a showcase waltz. Uh, those were all amazing. Um, and also Rachel and Rob back in uh, Showdown 2012, the Raggedy Ann and Andy routine was uh, absolutely phenomenal. So those just didn't quite make it. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, Jim is sharing some of the links uh, for some of those uh, routines. I did send them to him for, on YouTube. Uh, so to open up the show, um, I wanted high energy. I wanted it to go crazy. Um, so the very first routine I'd open a show with, of course, guys, would have to be Britain's Got Talent, Country Vibe, coming out, Shane McKeever coming out in his cowboy hat, um, busting a move. Uh, I think this is, I love all of the country vibe routines, but I think this routine specifically, um, the energy level and what it did for line dancing uh, was just absolutely incredible. Uh, the feel of this routine, um, everything about it, from Shane coming out by himself uh, to uh, the boys throwing the hats, um, it was, the whole routine was incredible from start to finish. And, um, it's funny watching the video because watching the judges faces before the music really kicks in and the girls come out, um, absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's just, it is so weird because I've watched this back again a couple times last night and, um, seeing Paul James without a beard. It is absolutely, it's hysterical watching Paul without his beard because you just, I just can't picture it. Um, so yeah, Country Vibe 2014 from British Con Talent. Um, Jim just shared the link so you can go back and watch with all the audio. Um, I just didn't want to play the audio in the stream because we'll probably get kicked off by about three, three numbers in. <laughs> so, um, I want to continue on, um, after, uh, the Country Vibe routine. I had to think of how could I follow that up. You had a high energy... Um, you got the crowd raring, you got the crowd going, and I wanted to probably take it to where I get the crowd laughing. I, um, I want to get the whole crowd involved feeling hysterically. Um, so I would literally switch. <laughs> Nicola, I get so annoyed watching this now and seeing all the mistakes I wish you could have fixed. Yeah, the sad thing is, Nicola, no one really saw those. They were It was an absolutely phenomenal phenomenal performance um <laughs> this routine uh so how i'd follow this routine up and this is not it's hard to, to choose an act to follow up country vibe and that's kind of why i had it i wanted i'd want to start off with them um but i would go straight into a routine that well i'm pretty sure some people remember seeing it and some people probably don't and that's uh, why I would do it. And um, it is, I believe this is the one. It is Showdown, the Blundy Sisters, Scott Blevins, Guyton Monday. Um, absolutely phenomenal routine. Um, this was from 2010 uh, at the Showdown when they came out. This is one of the original ones they did. Um, with Robert Cardoba and another uh, gentleman from up north, a West Coast swing dancer. And uh, watching Guyton and Scott dr dance and drag is probably one of the funniest sights anybody's ever seen in the line dance world. Because they do it so well. The fact that they can dance as well as they did in heels was absolutely amazing. And let me tell you, um, I can't look at White Christmas the same again. <laughs> it's hard to try to watch White Christmas and not picture this this routine and watching them dance. And uh, it was just 
Scott always said, oh, Guyton's gone. I don't have to wear a dress anymore. And I think I've still seen him in dress a dozen times since Guyton's left the scene. It's absolutely hysterical. Um, so I definitely follow Country Vibe with something like this to get the comedy going, um, to keep that crowd involved, um, to keep that energy level up um, to start off a show. Um, because you don't want to be making your crowd sit for too, too long without keeping them entertained. And um, this would definitely keep them entertained for sure. Uh, uh, it might scar some people, but hey, um, the wigs fit them so well too. Scott with the curly blonde hair and then Guyton with that straight black hair and then them bust out and yeah, it's just... For those who haven't ever seen this routine, um, I shared this as one of my throwbacks at noon a while, while back, and um, let me tell you, uh oh, did we lose it? I'm still seeing it on. Ooh. 